What's up beautiful people? This is Mike from iGetsWell and hope you are having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what Samsung is doing to prevent the image burn-in or image retention on the QD OLED technology. And we're going to be looking at what features are there and why you should not turn those features off. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'm going to be getting into that. And if you are not aware of what is burn-in, it is actually the permanent retention on your screen, something like this. If you're watching the content with a lot of, you know, the logos and static images, um, maybe if you're using the TV as a PC monitor in that case as well. So as you can see on the screen, this is the very first feature that I want to talk about. Let me turn off all the lights so you can see the screen clearly, not just that walls and stuff, but I'm recording directly from my S95B QD OLED TV with my HDR camera and wanted to show you guys uh, what Samsung is doing. So first thing first, the screensaver. When you're not watching anything on your TV, Samsung's gonna run a screensaver, something like this, very basic, and why they do it, first thing first, they don't want those images to be permanently imposed on your screen. So that's why they run the screensaver. All right guys, so the second thing that I wanna talk about is the what actually settings are there that Samsung has to prevent the burn-in or the image retention. So we're gonna to go to the settings and then we're gonna go down to the general and the privacy and that's where we're gonna have the options. We're gonna go in the panel care. That's what you have, you have to look for. As soon as you go to the panel care, you will, if you are the LG OLED user and you have used LG OLED in the past, you will know these settings. The pixel shift is the very first one where the TV is, tries to actually shift the pixel to the neighboring pixel, not just crazily, you know, to the northwest, east, south. It just the, shifts the picture, pixel just slightly so that, you know, you have the pixel shift so it prevents the image retention issues. The second option that we have here is the adjust logo brightness. It has to do with the static images. Let's say if you have a lot of static images on your screen and you're using it as a, um, you know, the desktop monitor or you're doing the gaming with a lot of overlays. So it's going to dim the brightness and luminance for those static logos. You, you can do low or high. It's up to you. I've noticed if you do it on low, it kicks in a little late. If you do it on high, it kicks in really quick. So, and also it has to do with the logo luminance dimming. So you can see the example like this here. If you have, you know, a whole bunch of static stuff on your screen, uh, you have the taskbar and you have some boxes like that for windows, you're gonna have this issue of image retention. And if you have overlays like this, this is just for the example. Sometimes you have the, you know, the heads up display for the car racing games or you're playing, you know, RPG games. So this can also cause the permanent burn into your screen. But the thing is the logo the luminance is working there. So I can assure you guys one thing right here to just to tell you that don't be scared. I've been using OLED since 2016 and my first OLED had over 6,000 hours when I sold it and it didn't have burn in at all. And we didn't have all these features at that time. Okay, now let's talk about the pixel refresh you're not gonna run it at all, only it is advisable to run if you're having really, um, you know, the issues with your screen. Don't just start running it every now and then, you don't have to do it. Only run it, let's say, if you're running into an issue, you have some kind of retention on the screen, is not going away, maybe then do it, or maybe you have done sessions of like, you know, 10, 20 hours of just gaming and straight gaming for like, 24, 30 days and now you're seeing some kind of issues with your screen, maybe then you can run this pixel refresh. It's already being run in the background by the TV when power is off so you don't have to actually run it. And you have to give it time, it takes about one hour plus to complete. So if you turn on the TV, the process is gonna be canceled. So do not run it unless you have an issue and it's already running in the background so you don't have to do it. All right guys, so this is my Chromecast, uh, the Google device which is connected to the TV and I'm gonna show you as soon as I disconnect this device or this device loses the power, so what Samsung is doing in order to you know prevent any of the issues here. So you're gonna have no signal image showing up in just quite a few seconds and when you're seeing that, notice one thing, that the background of the, um, you know, this no signal power screen is gonna keep changing the color and why Samsung is doing that, I think, 
even to begin with, they should have just changed it to black color like LG. So if you notice in, on the LG TVs, the no signal power, you have the black background. So that means that it's not utilizing any of those pixels and the pixels are all turned off because pure black. But in the Samsung, they want to keep it colorful. I mean, I hope in the future they just make it black uh, we don't really care even if it is you know any kind of color but right now to prevent the issue they're moving the text around so it's not at just one place and also they are changing the uh, colors of the background so it doesn't get burned into your screen so it's really a good thing to have but i would recommend you know if samsung could do this in one of the updates just change it to the pure black in order to do the pure black you get the burn-in prevention already built in and also um, it's not using much um, you know the power electricity also in these kind of cases where you have left the YouTube screen on you will notice one thing that in few seconds your screen is gonna turn a little dimmer um, because they are all static logos so the logo luminous brightness also kicks in and makes sure that you know you don't have uh, any kind of burn-in and this is the one thing that I want to talk about is about ABL. Whenever you have so much white on your screen, you're going to experience the brightness. You saw the brightness was higher and then it goes lower. And then I move my mouse around, it kind of goes up and down. And same in these kind of cases where the brightness is just too much. The uh, whites uh, requires a lot of power and the um, luminance is most when the blue and white is there. So you're going to notice in the um, more demanding situations like that, the TV is going to start dimming the screen and it's doing to prevent any kind of damage to the OLED panel. I hope you can see on my screen. I don't know how much you can see, but it's going to switch brightness from, you know, the dark to a little dimmer just because it's trying to prevent. And also I'm on the, uh, I'm paused on this scene right here. It's the um, Katie, Jacob and Katie's video. You can see the brightness fluctuated a little from the bright to dark. And this is really a good feature if you leave your screen on pause and after a few seconds, then the screensaver also kicks in. So you don't have to worry about it at all. So all the features that we've been discussing throughout this video is actually um, all the features trying to prevent burn-in and it's not gonna happen with all of these things loaded. All of these, you know, armors are there to protect your TV. So I'll say to those guys who are scared about burning or just new to the technology, uh, as a consumer, I'll say because I started my YouTube videos in 2016 and you can go back in, you know, the date and see my videos from 2016, 17, and you will see LG OLED E6 was my first LG OLED TV and it did not have much of the protection there at that time. So. There are a couple of things you cannot do and uh, by user error maybe you cannot disable the screensaver. So let's say if you go to the start screen options or you go to the any picture settings you go on the QD OLED TV, you cannot disable the screensaver because they don't want you to go and disable the screensaver and then you have uh, you know any kind of image related issues. So it's a really good thing and make sure to not to worry about burning as much and um, yeah, you can game. I actually game on LG OLED C1 as my monitor. I use it as G-Sync with my RTX 3080. I do Warzone for about, I used to do, I don't do Warzone anymore. It's just a crappy game, game now, but I used to play a lot before. So I used to play like five, six hours, you know, during COVID and all, but I stopped playing that and I have spent about 2000 hours in total on LG OLED C1 as my gaming PC monitor and I haven't had any burn in in that. So I hope these features are gonna help you in future to protect your TV and please drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, peace out.